YouTube is full of some of the most disturbing and honestly heart-wrenching videos I've ever seen. And as a horror YouTuber, I've gone through some of the most terrifying and extraordinary horror content. So when I show you this video, I'm not only saying that it's terrifying, but it might be one of the most disturbing videos I've seen on YouTube. And to top it all off, it's an advertisement. It's being shown all over YouTube as an ad. I saw this with my friend Jelly, and we both watched this as uh, more or less a reaction video. However, um, I, for some reason, my microphone cut out and it didn't like catch all the audio I said. So enjoy my reactions while you just hear more or less a video. And sometimes Jelly said, "What?" <laughs> when I think of horror content, I don't really exactly think of um, the reality of certain things, and I, I often think of more uh, things like the Mandela catalog or old, old things. Um, such as uh, salad fingers, but this uh, this really does mess with you, and I, I know it had me thinking for a while too. I had just arrived at work as the hospital's lead sonographer and was looking at the patient's schedule for the day when my boss told me to go immediately to the OR. The surgeon was requesting ultrasound guidance. That was all the information I was given. I had no idea what I was walking into. I wheeled the ultrasound machine into the OR. The patient was already sedated on the operating table. Plugging in the machine, I waited for instructions from the doctor. He barked at me to place the ultrasound probe on the patient's pelvis so he wouldn't perforate her uterus. Still confused about the procedure, I did as he asked and realized the woman was pregnant. She was in her second trimester, so I easily determined the gender of her baby, a little girl. Stunned, I watched the doctor thrust a catheter into the amniotic sac. The fetus dodged the catheter and tried to hide in the top of her mother's uterus to get away. In horror, I watched as he inserted a forceps clamp and grabbed her tiny leg. She writhed around in pain trying to break free, but there was nowhere for her to go. Then the doctor pulled hard until her leg ripped away from her body. She recoiled and violently twisted around in pain and curled herself into a tight ball. But it was no use. The clamp grabbed her arm and she struggled to pull away. Her movements weakened now because she was dying. He pulled her arm off of her body. My vision blurred. My eyes filled with tears. The child again curled herself into a tight ball, but again, the device grabbed her other leg and it was ripped from her body. By now, her heartbeat had slowed significantly, but she was still alive. The clamp grabbed her last limb and ripped it off. She wiggled and squirmed around, and then her heart finally stopped beating. I announced that there was no more cardiac activity the nurse and scrub tech in the room gasped, realizing for the first time that this was happening to a fetus that was still alive. The remaining body parts, the head and torso, were removed. Placenta was removed, and a final look with ultrasound revealed all products of conception were removed. I was told I could leave the room. Up until that moment, I had been frozen. I silently removed the ultrasound machine from the operating room went directly to the locker room and threw up. I quit my job at that hospital shortly after. I told my boss I would never again participate in that type of procedure. I was having nightmares and could not escape the memory of what I had witnessed. I would never again assist in the murder of a child. It was over 20 years ago, but it's just as vivid in my mind today as the day it happened. The saddest part is that this procedure is still happening today. People have no idea we are murdering babies in this way. They think it isn't a person, that it's just a mass of tissue. I'm so sorry for what happened to this little girl, for what I did to her. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. What the fuck?
So I got this idea from the YouTuber named Loss. 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 I'm not saying it right, but um, he did a, basically the same exact thing I did, except he went over it um, a little more analytically and um, a lot more base kit. He didn't really give much of an opinion, and um, I think he did it uh, probably the most unbiased justice. And uh, that's why when I saw it, um, I never thought of it being really an anti-abortion video. Um, that's what made me click on it. And when I watched it, I I was dis disturbed because I didn't realize it was an anti-abortion video until like halfway through. Like on God, I, I didn't realize what it was. So, um, I thought, what if I, what if I do the same thing and, um, you know, I'm a little bit uncensored about how I felt about it and uh, my thoughts. And the whole time, me and my friend Jelly, we were just disgusted. He literally said, that is probably well, some of the scariest shit I've seen after we got done watching it. And I, I agreed. I mean, like, th this is honestly for an animation worse than some of the actual horror clips I've seen. It just, it made me feel so sick to my stomach. And, and, and honestly, I, reading up in it, it, it should. Um, after doing this, I literally had to like look into like again, wow, what kind of abortions are there? Is there new ones out there? And then there are, and it's fucking, it, it's repulsive. But um, I'm not going to get too too deep into uh, you know personalized things. But what I am going to say is um, if you don't already know like how these procedures work and the, ex the these exact ways they work, like and I mean exact, I don't think you should have an opinion on it. I don't. Um, I, I think it's something that like you should look it up know exactly how it works kind of like driving a car right you shouldn't be able to drive unless you know exactly what you're getting yourself into like how it works and same thing with this and I, I feel like a lot of people don't actually see the reality I think what happens is they, they hear what you know their um, political agenda or what their friends say or whatnot and they have to affiliate with that or else guess what you're not part of the group and it's just such a weak mindset it, you should be able to whether you agree with it or not which obviously I don't I don't ever especially after like you know um knowing that videos like this exist that shed light on the reality um if you look up abortion on uh google it will take you forever to actually find like aborted fetuses to actually find the picture of like these broken down ripped apart suctioned fetuses and it, when you do find them it's it's hard to take in it, it really is so i went to the original video and before i do anything i don't want to like show some of the names just because i feel like um Especially with something like this, I don't want to out people. Granted, they already made a comment or whatever, but I just want to um, more or less sh shed light on what some of these people said because a lot of them um, I found to be very interesting. One person said, "Watching this may uh, watching this as I feel my 19-week-old baby moving inside me, heartbreaking, horrifying, devastating. We must keep fighting for this end." Um, this other person said, and this is exactly how I felt. As I clicked the upward thumb, I thought, "Like, how can anyone like this? This is horrific." But yes, I like the horrifying message. It is the message that needs to be spread far and wide until everybody comes to loathe the murder of infants and their mothers proactively protective of wounds. Contrary to some people's comments, what this video shows is not emotional rhetoric. Instead, it's very harsh reality. On July 7, 2007, I was visited. Uh, I visited the something woman center to abort my child, and what I saw on this video is consistent on what I saw in real life on the sonogram um, that was performed on me during the procedure. The only difference that my child didn't die immediately that day. Please know that when your baby is on its second trimester, like in the video, he or she is already fully formed inside the womb and is very aware of what's going on around slash her. Back to my life experience with the procedure after the doctor introduced the forceps on my uterus. And even when he tried to keep the ultrasound monitor away, um, I saw with my own eyes how my child tried to escape from the forceps and tr kept desperately moving through my womb to stay away from it. At the same time, and even when I couldn't process what was happening with a clear head, I also remember me silently crying, asking my baby to fight back and not let the doctor catch him. That day the procedure failed and the doctor couldn't dismember my baby's body nor take its life. After I had after I had back my clothes on, I said to the doctor that I decided to continue the pregnancy and keep my child. That moment he knew the business was over and to keep the money of the procedure. He decided that it was better for me to complete the abortion and insisted on speaking me out uh, speaking me about the dis devastating effects that the uh, misopostal would have on my baby development and convinced me to complete the abortion on a second procedure. I was a minor by then, without family support and in total distress, so even my child was the only totally innocent uh, person in all that mess. Um, he was the only one that paid with his life, and yes, I'll carry the burden of regret since then. 
Years later, I found out that the clinic was shut down and the doctor was processed by local and federal authorities for related crimes to women, uh, to women's and abortions. That's how they said it. That's probably error. By now, 15 years has uh, passed, and only because of the Lord's grace and unconditional love, I'm able to watch videos like this about guilt. Um, I decided to write my story so any woman that is pressured or is voluntarily considering abortion have the opportunity to learn of real life facts that the pro death slash pro choice slash pro abortion lobby will never admit and keeps from you. Abortion is not the correct solution, never, and please just don't, don't just believe me. Do yourself a favor and take some time to research on the web about post abortion syndrome, the anniversary syndrome, and all other complications confirmed by science that the abortionists didn't want you to know. For those women that already experienced abortion, please know that there is hope and uh, having a life free of guilt is possible with the help of the Lord. He's the only one that could set you free from the chains of abortion and help you understand that you could still serve your baby's life purpose, giving back his voice as an active pro-life woman that speaks your own truth and experience so other women didn't have the life by themselves, the cruel reality of abortion and a horrible impact it would have on the physical, emotional, and spiritual health. God bless you all. So again, I know it's really long, um, but um, I thought that was a very good one to read out, especially since obviously he goes over everything. And I, I think uh, even though there were some, you know, more emotional, sappy parts, I, I won't really um, take away from that. The biggest thing is that, um, again, this is life. If you did nothing, is it just going to disappear? Answer is no. You have to some way kill it. And I, I think the idea of, no, like, I think we all know exactly why that's horrifying. That's because that used to be us. And the fact that, like, you could be in that situation where you have no control before you're even given a chance in life depart slowly it it fucks you um i'm not gonna go too much into it but there's another type of abortion the one you saw i believe was a d and e so dilation and evacuation um the other version that they didn't show you was a uh, suction or uh is that d and c i believe it is i could be wrong d basically the other one's also pretty bad it's not as bad i would say but basically they have this little tube and it's like a super strong vacuum what they'll do is they'll put it up there right and it literally suck, like it will suck it in, like the whole damn baby. And imagine like you being that just, <laughs> and that's what it, it's like in a fucking horror movie, except like it's, it's real. So I didn't really want to um, show too much of that, but I did want to be honest about how I felt. And I, I feel I feel safe watching that stuff. And at the end of the day, there are a lot of groups that help people. There are a lot of um, people that um, really do get away with, you know, um, this in, in good mind. And um, before I do anything else, because um, I don't think anyone should feel completely like um, what's the word for it? Guilty over these things. But I'm going. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to read off one more thing that I I really enjoyed and I thought it was the uh, the best comment out of all of them. Pregnant mothers need to know what happens in these death rooms. It is a sick and inhumane. Animal act rights activists treat animals better than this and would protest unnecessary killing of animals. I watch heart rhythms for a living and literally see death every day. When heart stops beating, we declare time of death. A feed a uh, human fetus is a baby. When a heart stops, that is the end of a heartbeat, death. I was a pregnant teen at 17. I was pressured by several people, family and friends to have a abortion. It would ruin your life. Um, I was scared and afraid of how my life would change, but I, uh, I knew life would not be easy with a child. I couldn't do adoption because I knew I, w I would bond too much. And I knew I couldn't live with the guilt of, I, w I couldn't live with the guilt or what ifs had I aborted. So I kept the baby. I realized that it was not just about me, but her as well. I wasn't alone. I graduated six um, to six and a half months pregnant um, and proud of my decision. My daughter is now 24 years old, has two sons, and is pregnant again. I look at them and can't imagine my life without them, and it is my footprint on the world um, that is bigger because I chose a hard road. Words can express the awe factor of knowing uh, they would not be here if I had chose a different path. A pregnant teen reading this, some encouragement. You can do it. I know whoever reads this, I hope you make a decision you can live with your, right, uh, your life. Uh, I pray that your life is blessed and full of joy. Children bring so much joy and fulfillment in life. There's so much help and support out there. There are pregnancy centers that actually walk through and support you. Heck, there's tons of government help like WIC. Don't, uh, don't afraid you are not alone. 90% of our worst fears and people finding out uh, are people finding out. Just plain don't happen. Sure, parents may be disappointed. Um, but they love you anyway. Um, if the worst happened, they hate or kick you out. You will get through that as well. Things will work out hard. Um, and I think that's true. 
Um, by the way, I'm sorry, there's a lot of typos on these, so that's why, like, you'll hear me slow down at certain points. Um, but, no, and, and that's, that's exactly, at the end of the day, like, you know, it, it should be what you really believe. And, um, it should also be, like, what's, in my opinion, for you. Uh, because at the end of the day, like, it's either you, you are deciding if you, your life is going to be better by killing but someone, in my opinion. So, um, but... Let's dive a little bit away from that, because now, you know, my opinion, those opinions, out of the way. Um, what makes this a little bit more disturbing is the fact that, again, this is on YouTube as an ad. And I did not see that coming. Um, I haven't seen this myself, but I've heard a few people have said, said they've seen it. And I, it comes to a curious dilemma where it's like, should you show this? And on one hand, it's like, I think, I think it is important to see um, ads, like, or like, you know, know about the reality of these things because that's what it is, it is a reality. Um, and there's also other things that you would say maybe not, may not be the most important to be uh, advertised or shown. For example, you'll have these um, ads where sometimes like quite like just women like have hardly any clothing. And honestly, I've, I've seen bare-breasted women on my ads. I've also seen um, a lot of uh, videos that um, are LGBT, but, and that's fine, but it's more um, just purely talking about like sexuality. Or I've seen ones where they talk about weed and that's fine except i'm seeing these ads when i'm watching youtube with my little sister and the next thing you know is that you have like a fucking lawnmower shave ad that talks about balls and again this is like my little sister watching minecraft videos with and she's like eight uh it makes you question if that's okay or not and um at the end of the day even though you know this is a strong message and i think it's important i feel like there needs to be a lot stronger moderation when it comes to ads or honestly there should be it should all be open we can't have this wishy-washy shit going on and the fact that this is even really being advertised with all that and even that stuff's being advertised it's just youtube really has to up the game so um i'm not sure about you guys i felt very queasy watching this but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed well i hope you guys got it and um, at the end of the day, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, please tell me what you guys know, uh, think about it, and down in the comments below. Um, this was not to guilt anyone. If you have your own opinion, label it. Seriously, it's just say, hey, I don't agree with this, or I do agree with it. Um, I just thought this was very um, important to show, especially since it gave me such a strong feeling. And I think it will give you guys a strong feeling too. Um, so um, go into your day um, thinking wherever you will. And uh, just keep in, like, in mind what this really um, made you feel. If it just was horrifying to you from a horror standpoint, or um, just did bother you because in the end of the day, it, it is a reality. So thank you all so much for watching. My name is Blue Saying Out. Please go check out um, Lar... Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Los. Los. I'll leave a description or uh, a little, I'll leave a little link down in the comments below. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. My name is Blue Saying Out. See you guys next video. Bye, guys. Whoop. Subscribe yes. to Blue Digit. What? Do it now. Hello. You are a cow. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to Blue Digit uh -huh. or else.